Red Knit Cap Girl and the Reading Tree. Nyoko Stoop. It is too hot to run and too hot to play. Red Knit Cap Girl and White Bunny find a shady spot and read. Squirrel wants to show them something, but he won't tell them what. You'll see when we get there, is all he will say. Red Knit Cap Girl and White Bunny scamper after Squirrel. What a big oak tree, Red Knit Cap Girl says when Squirrel points. Not the tree, Squirrel says. Look inside. Red Knit Cap Girl looks inside the hole in the trunk. That's what I wanted to show you all, Squirrel says. It's called a nook. What is it for? says Bear. Red Knit Cap Girl listens to the leaves rustling and feels the soft grass under her feet. She looks again at the nook. I have an idea, she says. Red Knit Cap Girl puts her book inside where it will stay safe and dry. I will keep my book in this nook so everyone can read it, Red Knit Cap Girl says. I will keep my book in this nook so everyone can read mine too, White Bunny says. I will too, says Squirrel. Great idea, Bear cheers. Hedgehog is too excited to speak. He just squeaks. Eek, eek! The birds swoop down. We have something to share, too. I don't have a book, Beaver says sadly. He wants to share something. Then Beaver gets an idea. He gnaws and hauls with his teeth and thumps with his tail until he's built a strong bookshelf. Everyone admires it. The next day... Deer brings his book to the nook. Duck follows with her book. Turtle has so many books to share that she carries them on her back. Sly Fox doesn't help. She sneaks to the nook when she thinks no one is looking. How silly they are, leaving all these books here for me to steal, she says as she takes one. The other animals bring more books to the nook. They read every day until the air turns clear and crisp and cold. It is autumn now, too cold to sit still around the nook. Snuggle under these, the sheep say. They've made warm wool blankets for everyone. Then the nook is even cozier. All summer, all fall, Al and Moon have been watching Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends. Now it is almost winter. Days are shorter and dark comes earlier. Al and Moon talk in hushed voices about what Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends have done. We can help too, Moon says, and she tells Al how. They work all night long. In the morning, Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends see what Al has made for them. Red Knit Cap Girl reads the sign out loud. Library, she says. A library is a place where anyone can borrow a book. Red Knit Cap Girl winks at Sly Fox, who smiles shyly back. That night, Moon shines her light on the nook, and the friends read. Sly Fox returns the book she took, and Red Knit Cap Girl reads it out loud to everyone. Thank you, Red Knit Cap Girl, say the little ones who can't read yet. Thank you, deer, bear, birds, duck, squirrel, hedgehog, beaver, sheep, turtle and turtle babies, sly fox, owl, white bunny, and moon. Thank you for making our library, says Red Knit Cap Girl. It is good to share books.